Okay, so here we are today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a webinar in Consign Pro on our Buy Outright features and how those features can help our Buy Outright customers um, use the software better and uh, improve their workflow and uh, make life a little bit easier. So I'm on version uh, top left corner 9.93. It says way up there. I don't know if you can see it of Consign Pro. Um, my features might be different than yours. If you are not on version 9.93, you might want to upgrade um, before trying out the things that I'm doing. I believe most of the features you're going to see here are in version 9.8 uh, all the way up to 9.93. So if you need to upgrade, it's on our uh, upgrade page at consignpro.com. Click on support at the top and then uh, get version update or version updates, I think. Uh, you'll need your registration number to update. Uh, your registration number is going to be also in the top title bar of Consign Pro. The registration is on this copy is 20941. Yours will be different. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through Buy Outright. The first thing we're going to do in Buy Outright is tell the system we're going to do Buy Outright and not just consignment. We're going to go to Maintain Store, Customize CP, Store Settings, Inventory, and under inventory, we're going to, at the bottom of the screen, click on this little bottom here. We've got, uh, we're going to say, uh, buy outright is all I do. Now, there are some other choices in there. I don't do buy outright. That's our default setting. I do some buy outright. I do mostly buy outright. Or buy outright is all I do. I'm going to select buy outright is all I do. Um, that's going to take the program from a consignment um, program kind of more into a buy outright program. So in other words, it's going to remove anything that has to do with split percentages. There's no split percentage in buy outright. It's also going to replace all of the words consigner with the word customer. Uh, on most of our reports um, and throughout the rest of the program, you won't see the word consigner anymore. You'll see customer. So here at the bottom, I've got uh, buy outright margins for cash. I'm going to put that in at a percentage of what I expect to sell the item for. So I'm going to say my margin for cash is 30%. So what that means is if I've got an item I think I'm going to put out on my sales floor at $10 and be able to get $10 for it, I'm going to pay the customer who's selling that item to me $3 or 30% of $10. And I'll say 40% for credit. The credit that you would use in the store, you would not be paying them anything out. Give them a little bit of a bonus for keeping the money in the store. $4 rather than $3 on a $10 uh, item. I'm going to click Update. I'm going to go back to the menu. And I'm going to go into Add Inventory. The Add Inventory screen looks a little bit different. Uh, we don't have signed uh, item at the top anymore. We just have Buy Outright Store Owned and Vendor. Uh, buy Outright is the selection because I told the system all I do is Buy Outright. So it's going to select that for me already. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to jump back and I'm going to tell that we're not in Canada. We're in the United States. I like the way the screen appears a little bit better. All right, so here we go. Customer, same thing as you're used to. We will select a customer we're buying from. We will select just some entries in these lists. My only two lists that are required on the screen are item and brand. And I'm going to select uh, $29. When I tap for this uh, Carter's bouncy seat, I guess we've chosen. When I tab off the price of $29, it automatically pops in a buy outright price for cash of $8.70. And that should be, and I think that it is, 30% of $29. If I click on credit, because the customer has said, you know, I don't need the money. I'm going to use it in the store. You're going to tell them you can give them a little bit more if they use it in the store. We could say cash or credit. It will change the amounts backwards and forwards depending on what you'd like to give them. We're going to say cash. I'm going to say add another. And the system is going to say $8.70 was deposited into this customer's account. That's customer number 1440. I keep wanting to say the word consigner, but in this case, it's customer. 870, so let's do another item here. <clears throat> let's just pick some strange things. It doesn't really matter. Looks like I've got a children's consignment store here. Let's say I think I can get uh, $9.99. $9 .99. 
Buyout right comes to $3 or 30% of $10. Cash would be four. I'll say cash only. I now go back to the main menu for customer 1440. $3 was deposited. I go into consigner 1440 and hit enter. And if I go into their account activity, we're going to see the two buyout right items that I just did, 870 and $3. Okay. And what that does is it puts the money into their account. Now, keep in mind, their account had a $40 credit in it already, so they're now going to have $51.70 in their account balance. Notice this says pending credit, okay? So we have a choice. Um, first of all, what we can do, uh, the next logical workflow thing to do would be to print this received report, okay? The received report, is going to give the customer a list of the items they just dropped off with you today to get to, to possibly sell to you. And that would be kind of the instrument that you use to present to the customer exactly what prices you're able to give uh, the customer for their items with a total at the bottom. So it's what they can review before signing off on, yes, they are selling you these things. Now, here's the interesting news. If you go into uh, view items for this customer, and you go to list view, you now have the option, if they didn't want to sell you because they didn't like the $3 for the three-piece out, outfit, you could click on the column at the top left here that says remove, and we can remove individual items from this buy, okay? So this would be the negotiation between you and the customer as to what items they're actually going to leave with you and what items they're going to take home. Okay. In this case, we're not going to remove any, but if we did, it would adjust the consigners, or excuse me, customers' account balance automatically. Uh, let's remove this uh, three-piece outfit. I'm going to say delete items. Say yes. Are you sure? Yes. Now, if I go back, and let's try looking up this customer one more time here. If we look them up again, we notice that their account balance changed. <clears throat> because we removed that $3 item. Okay, so they now have $48.70 on their account rather than the $51.70. So that little screen we went to, and I'll show you how we went there, view items, list view, can be used to fine tune the details of a buy before you're committing it. Okay, Once you've got it right, you'll come back to this screen. And at this point, you can either commit the money to their account by clicking on pending credit, and we're not going to do this right now because it would end the process. I want to pretend this is a straight buy where you're handing out cash. Uh, if this was somebody that wanted to keep the money in their account, we could click yes. It would then add, I believe it's 20% to this customer's balance. Okay, I'm not going to do this right now. We can do that in a minute, though. Give me just a second. We're going to click instead on uh, payout balance. Okay. Now, the system's smart. It knows that although they had $48.70 uh, on their account, today you only did buys for $8.70. So it's giving you the correct payout amount for the buy you're doing right now. Okay. What you would do is a cash payout. You would click on process payout. In the system at this So for them to sign, and the one that they sign stays with you. The one uh, that they don't sign goes with them, and it then prints automatically tags or labels to go on those items. So there's no reason to jump back to the reports page and do your printing. It's all going to happen automatically. Okay? If I go into account activity now, I see that I did a cash payout of $8.70. Okay, so we recently changed or improved this process to do a few things. Um, number one, we changed it so that when you're putting together a buy and you print the received report, the customer has a really good idea of the amount that you want to give them, and they can then select from that uh, received report uh, the items that uh, they want to sell to you. 
Then above and beyond that, we went into view items and list view, and you can selectively remove items and it will automatically adjust the payout for today for the items they're not removing or keeping with you. Okay? And then lastly, uh, when you come back to this screen, you can either commit the dollar amount in the account balance as credit, and fi that finalizes the buy, okay? Uh, or you can do a payout balance and the system will calculate just the items they've dropped off today, allow you to print a nice receipt that they sign and automatically print the barcoded tags that go for those items, uh, for those items that go out on your sales floor. Um, so there is some streamlining that we did to try to make this a more user friendly program for buyout, right? And I hope those changes are interesting to you. One other thing we did is we went into reports and on this inventory lookup report, we did a sort slash total by employee. And when I do that for items that were received today, <clears throat> we have one unknown employee, that's myself. Um, it looks like they, we bought $29. I'm not sure how, the, how these totals are calculated here. I've got to take a look at this. Uh, what we tried to do with this report is if some items had been sold, um, actually, this is right, because $29 was that um, Graco uh, bouncy bouncy thing that we, we purchased, so $29. If there were items that were sold, uh, let's go sell that. Let's see what happens. Let me find an item number. I think it's... Uh, I think it's probably this number, minus one or two. Let's go to make sale. <clears throat> And that was my bouncy seat plus a buyer's fee. It looks like it got added that brought the price up a dollar. We had a $1 buyer's fee on that. Uh, buyer's fees apparently are turned on here. I'm going to click finish sale, cash, complete sale. Let me go run that same report. Inventory lookup report, sorted total by employee. Oh, not sure what happened. That just crashed the program. That's not good in a demonstration. Let me go back in here. You may need to fine-tune that report. Bear with me. Yep, it looks like that report is, there's a problem with it that needs to be improved. I'll take a look at that after this demo. I'll uh, get that corrected. In, on the report, the purpose of that report is to show you who your best buyers are in your store. What buyers are buying things that sell, sell quickly, and that you're making good margin on. Okay, so the purpose of that report is to tell you those things so that you can either better train your not so good buyers or you can reward the buyers that are doing really well for you. That was inventory lookup report sort slash total by employee. And whatever that little bug is, I'll get that fixed today. So that is the buy outright portion of Consign Pro. I hope that uh, it helps our buy outright customers uh, do their business a little bit easier. Um, if you have any questions about buy outright or how it works with Consign Pro, anything about this webinar, uh, feel free to ask. My name is Brian. Have a great day.